Thank you very much. It's wonderful to have President Poroshenko with us. Uh, we spent some time recently in the White House, and I know you've made good progress since then. A lot of progress, actually. And I wouldn't say it's the easiest place right now to live, but you're making it better and better on a daily basis. And I do hear very, very good things. So Ukraine is uh, coming along pretty well, pretty well. And at the borders, maybe you'll tell them how you're doing. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Yes. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. President. That's a real great honor for me to be here in the city which is so close to you. And I'm really happy to hear the words about the progress we both demonstrate after the, <coughs> our last meeting. But first of all, I want to uh, respect the great sympathy and solidarity with the American people uh, because of the consequences of the hurricanes and uh, my admire with the, your very strong leadership in this hard time. And uh, I really think that the our cooperation both in the security and defense sector, which is bringing already the first important results under your leadership, and the second, we seriously improved our economic cooperation. I just mentioned one single figure. The turnover between the United States and Ukraine during the last seven months increased 2.5 times mm -hmm. because of the implementation of our agreement. And this is, again, the symbol that we welcome in American companies in the Ukrainian market and creating uh, hundreds of thousands of jobs, both in Ukraine and U.S. Right. And this is the really delivery from effective cooperation between our nation. Well, that's right. That's a story that uh, is pretty untold, but I think you'll see it more and more. But companies are going very strongly right now into the Ukraine. They see a tremendous potential there. So take good care of them. Okay? Take good care of them. I, I do want to report that uh, with the hurricanes, uh, we spoke with Greg Abbott, governor of Texas, and I will tell you, Texas is doing really, really well. Uh, those people are working hard and effectively, and you have a great governor, and Texas is really coming out of that horrible hurricane, Harvey, uh, really, really well. Uh, Florida, very similar. Uh, great governor, Rick Scott, spoke with him. Florida was, uh, I mean, they were hit hard. They were hit hard, but they're doing very, very well. Uh, ahead of schedule, uh, the power is back on almost uh, for the, almost, for the most part, outside of the Keys, where you have a, a devastation problem. But even there, we're working very hard. But Florida's doing really well. So Texas, Florida, uh, we give it an A-plus. Puerto Rico was absolutely obliterated. Puerto Rico got hit with uh, winds. They say they've never seen winds like this uh, anywhere. It got hit as a five, category five storm, which just literally never happens. Uh, so Puerto Rico is, uh, is in very, very, very tough shape. Uh, their electrical grid is destroyed. It wasn't in good, good shape to start off with, but their electrical grid is totally destroyed, uh, and so many other things. So we're starting the process now, and we'll work with uh, the governor and the people of Puerto Rico. But Puerto Rico is a whole different category in many ways, in many ways. Uh, but it is, uh, in fact, you just, all you have to do is read or, or turn on the television and you'll see a place that was practically leveled. It's incredible, the power of that wind. That was a very unique, uh, not for many decades as a storm hit a piece of land like that. So Puerto Rico uh, will start the process uh, with, with great, we have actually Tom Bossert is uh, with us in the other room. We're just talking about it. We're going to start it with great gusto. But it's in very, very, very uh, perilous shape. Very sad what happened to Puerto Rico. So that's just an update on the three primary areas. Virgin Islands are, uh, I don't even have to say, all you have to do is take a look at a picture. Uh, they, are, they are flattened. Uh, areas around there have been flattened. So these were storms that they haven't seen in many years. It's very sad, actually, to see it. But we will start the process. So we have, uh, as we've proven, we have incredible teams. FEMA has been uh, beyond. Who would have thought after Texas, they go to Florida, then they go to Puerto Rico, and they go to other places, too. 
Uh, Louisiana took a little bit of a hit, and they recovered really well. They've done a fantastic job in Louisiana. Alabama took a hit, but they recovered. Alabama has been fantastic. So many people went to Alabama during the storm, during the Florida storm, and, and uh, likewise Georgia. So many places were so incredible in the way they've handled it. So uh, we are going to start the process now uh, with Puerto Rico. We'll have further updates on it, but it was uh, one of the most serious storms anyone's ever seen. Thank you all very much. Mr. President, will you visit Puerto Rico? Will you visit Puerto Rico? Yes, I will. Do you need more military aid from the United States? Do you need more military help from the United States? We have a brilliant cooperation with the United States in security and defense sector. Definitely, and we're very much satisfied with that. Thank <laughs> you.